harassing me? Right, hey, get up. these niggas n- there harassing me! Where do you want to keep playing games, dude? <laughs> so, right now you're under arrest for theft. For what? For a theft, I just explained. No. Show me my motherfucking money! No. Most times, people believe they can enter a place of business, take whatever they want, and leave without paying. But what happens when that isn't the case and they're caught in the act? Here are nine unbelievable moments I've found of shoplifters getting caught. Starting with this woman, who on July 4, 2023, was caught shoplifting in Illinois, prompting police officers to be called to the store. However, when the officers arrived to intervene, the woman immediately proved to be uncooperative. Everything good? She's coming with me, Rick. Okay. Okay, this way. Oh, yes, come out. You need me at all? Yes. Okay, you're in horror. Some kind of formal trespass. Okay. So one way it's not the No, I know, but one way or another, the teacher's Where are you gonna go, John? The doors are closed. It's too late. Not right. I didn't do anything. So go that way. Go this way. Please don't touch Stop. Me. Please, sir. Stop. I have groceries and okay. I have kids right at home. Right now you're under arrest. No, you understand? Why? Let's go this way. Please, 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 let go of the door. Nope. Go on, honey, don't let go of the door. No, I'm just asking him to let go of the door. Please, let go of the door. I just want him to let go of the door. Please, don't. I'm very... Just comply and you won't get hurt. No, please. Not going to let go of the door. All you have to do, I'm giving you a lawful order. I'm giving you a lawful order to come in here. All these people are watching that you're disobeying a lawful order. No, I understand what you're saying. Step inside now. Please. Step inside. I can't be under arrest. I have kids at home. Step inside. Please now. stop being upset with me. Now you are resisting. That's another charge. No. Step Please inside. Please stop it. Please, I'm begging you. Nope, you are under arrest. Okay, let go of me. You are resisting. Go you are Please under arrest. Please let go of me. Please let go of me. Stop it. Please let go of me. Sir. Ow. No. You're not going to do this to me. Stop. You're hurting me. Keith, I am a pacemaker defibrillator. I cannot get teased. I am giving you a lawful order. I am asking you to stop. I didn't do anything wrong. During the encounter, the woman refused to admit what she had done and subsequently refused to be put in handcuffs. Despite other officers' intervention, the woman's attitude only seemed to get worse. I didn't do anything! Please, I have to get home to my kids! No! 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 If you, please, I will turn myself in. You cannot nope. cuff me and do this. I will, no, please. Nope. I don't, I'm not well. I'm not joking with you. These are on your I have.
Hold on a second. Please! Uh, please understand. Please, I'm begging you to understand. You need to understand. I don't understand. All this while, the woman acted hysterical. And when she saw that the police were not going to listen to her pleas, she decided to try another approach. You can't take my stuff! I didn't do anything wrong! Ma'am, the more you move, the more you turn. Oh, oh, pushing behind. Please stop! No, no. Okay. Please All right. understand. Yeah. Okay, no, here's, here's, please understand. here's, 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 here's,
Okay. Phone cases. Uh, what are you doing, man? Just be honest with me and I'll help you out. You I'm know already not, man. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I'm struggling right now. I'm just trying to get the things I need. Man, I ain't trying to. You ain't trying to what? Violate my probation. That's all I'm. Okay, then what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just trying to get shit. Like, what? Like you're, you're taking stuff. Oh, no, no, that's my wallet. There ain't nothing in there that's brand new. That, that don't mean nothing. Hey, like I said, you be honest with me and I'll work with you. You lie to me, then I'm going to go the whole, whole way and I'll, I'll mess up your probation. Does that make sense? I have Because right now you're committing, you committed a crime, right? Yeah. Okay, so that can mess up your probation and you go back to jail. Right. And do we want to do that? Or nah. do we want to handle this the right way like men? Uh, I, I, I was already handling it. Well, just don't lie to me. I don't want to be lied to. Okay, my number one thing in life is don't lie to me. Because I know the truth. Oh, and here's the other thing. There's cameras literally every square inch of this freaking place. So they've been watching you from the time you walked in the store and how you've been walking around and stuffing stuff in your pockets. During the confrontation, Kadeem denied taking anything from the store and tried to play dumb despite the items pulled out of his pocket. However, as the officers continued to search him, they found more items that left them no choice but to do what they should have done in the beginning. That's my charge. Is that the wireless one of this? That one, that one. This one's his? Uh, I believe so, that's his, yeah. Right? So you be honest, right? <laughs> this one's yours? Yeah, I ain't got no reason for that, man. I believe so. Do you have a phone on you? Uh, yeah. Right here. Wait. You got socks. Check this bucket. Yeah? No. They were holding out traffic on both ends. No, 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 I bought that. Hey, hey, I bought that. Check it out, William. Check out the, the, the packages in the office. I don't know. See what we got. Yeah, you're going to check the packages in your office. No, that charge was mine. We're going to check it in your office. Huh? We're going to check it in your office. Bro, that charge was fucking. Okay, what is you we'll talking about? Out. Hey, nah, he trying to he trying we'll, to take my stuff. We told you what we're gonna do. We're gonna I know check that. In I, the office. I know that, but okay, like, but well, you need to calm down. Okay, nah, we're, we're trying not to make it too big of a scene here. All right, let me calm okay. down. Because it's a holiday, right? And I don't want to disturb everybody on their holiday. You okay, it's Easter, people, right? That's idea. Yeah. So then I'm going. going we're just gonna. Oh, no, you're just a tape right now. Okay. Am I going to go to jail? No, I'm not saying that. Right now, you're just being the same. Come on. Soon after, Kadim was taken to the security room, where instead of being remorseful, he tried to justify his actions. Phone number? Huh? Phone number? Nah. What happened? I thought you said you had a phone. So you don't have a phone number? You got a phone charger? I hate when people say that. Just because I got a phone, though. You got a phone charger? So you took a phone case and a phone charger and you don't have a phone? I took a phone case, not a charger. This charger right here is mine. You took a charger. You took a charger. Universal charger. You took a charger. What's that? What's that? You got a bank. What do you got? What do you got? Wi-Fi only? Huh? What do you got? Wi-Fi only? And you don't actually have a phone number? Yeah, yeah, man. You know that shit, man. What you're doing is is not right. It's it's breaking the law, right? Yeah. So we shouldn't be doing that stuff. But I don't break the law just for no reason. I break the law to. Well, the stuff you took is not stuff that people need. It's not food, water. Anything that has sustained life, it's just because you wanted it. Taking four phone cases, nah, a phone charger, need. those are not things that we, that people need to survive. So if it was like you were taking clothes, food, water, stuff like that, I then took, I can understand I it. I took clothes, clothes. You took some socks, yeah. Yeah, which I don't fuck. I don't know if this is one of them. No, that's my phone. Because it looks brand new. Oh no, that's my case. It's a good phone. I don't know where, to, where it is. If After running his name, the officers discovered that Kahdim was wanted for three different crimes in three different counties. You like playing games? What, what is, you like what playing is, around? What is that game that I'm playing? So you go to jail because you got a warrant. I got a warrant right now? Yep. Bro, how? Because you have a warrant. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Can I at least call somebody, hit the phone? We'll see about it. We'll see what we can do, man. But I got to figure out. I got to confirm in the warrant right now. I ain't have a warrant. We're trying to make sure it's clear. What? Well, from where? I'm not at the computer, am I? I'm standing next to you. I'm just, so I'm working on it with my partner. I'm just asking the fuck question, you well, dumbass. You, 
That's that's your problem right here. You show no respect, so you get no respect. I'm trying to show you respect, and then you, you haven't showed me any respect. No, you yet. show you. I saw. I try to show you respect, and you come aggressive. Fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's you don't like my style. I, I apologize. <laughs> Hey, that was a good comeback. Yeah. Start over, okay? I'm Officer right. Fan. What's your, how do you say your name? Kadeem. Kadeem? Yeah. Okay, Kadeem. So right now, you are you are being detained for the fact that you stole stuff from the store and you hid it in, on your person, which is illegal. It's retail theft, okay? Um, so right now, that's under, under $150, so that would be a compliance ticket. Wait, you said $150, I'm not to pay that? You, what, you, what you're going to get is you're going to get a $150 compliance ticket at this point for this theft. And then you're going to be banned from coming back into any Walmart or Sam's Club. You're any Walmart. Any Walmart, any Sam's wow. Club, you are trespassing Why, Walmart? Because you are coming here and you did a theft. And they don't want that on their property. So what's the difference between stealing 10 things than one? It's still going to be a theft and you cannot come back. Right. So and then the other thing that's going to happen is if, if this warrant, if you have a warrant, it's going to come back, and if it's valid, then you'll be arrested under a warrant. As a result of his actions, Kadim was banned from all Walmart stores, and it became evident that he was going to jail. However, he soon discovered that the $150 worth of items was not the only thing he had stolen. I'm going to cuff him and let him take him out. So I just want to make sure that before you stand up. What? Take it. Trespassing. I gotta take. We're gonna take those other merchandise out of your pants. That ain't not nothing. Hold on. Bam. Bam. Hold on. Let me Dick ain't that big. Bro. Maybe it's playing football. Yes. <laughs> Stand up. And you can dig down there. I'm gonna take these cuffs off. Hey, for you, you put a dig down there. Bro. Hold on. Turn around. So I can take your cuffs off. So you put a dig down there. Okay. I'm on the counter. What about the other side? You just took your drugs out there? Huh? Oh, I you just took your drugs out. You said you took out. That's the magic drug control. Can you call the 17 back and see if he still wants to speak? I tried to talk to him, but I couldn't get to him. Yeah, man. There's still more in there, man. Both sides, looks like. Oh, yeah, I still feel that. Soon after, Kadim was escorted to the police cruiser, but just when you think his situation couldn't get any worse, he decided to do the unthinkable. I'm just gonna dig down my pants, bro. Hey, all the flex. Bro, do not dig down my fucking pants. Do not dig down my pants. Well, do you want to get another charge? Nigga, do not dig down my fucking pants. Nigga, do not talk like you're not gonna be touching my head. You want to keep playing, bro? Bro, do not dig in my pants. You got sh your fucking pants. I will get it, nigga. That's not what we do. Get the fuck off of me, you bitch. No. No. I will grab it for your ass. No. No. You need to act like a dick adult right now. Got it? Nigga, you grabbing in my dick. No one's grabbing you your You grabbing in my ass. Calm down. Show no. respect. No, I can't show respect when you grab my ass. No one's grabbing my booty your booty nigga. Where's my fucking phone at? You don't? Right, right, he gonna see something there and shit him. Uh, Get your, sit up. Nigga, I can't even sit up because you want to push me and shit, you no bitch ass. Well, you wanted to fight. Can you please let go of my fucking legs? Stand up. Hey, they harassing me. Hey, they harassing me. Right, hey, get these right. niggas, they harassing me. Why do you want to keep playing games, dude? Get the fuck me, dude. Now you got a felony. Now you got to go hit my camera. Now you got a felony, bud. Sorry. Now you're definitely going to jail. Okay. You wanted to play games? Sit up. Act like you got a dope. Nigga, I can't sit up. When you hitting off my fucking... You just kicked me. So what do you expect me to do? You trying to stick your ass up my ass. No one was doing that. We were sitting you in the car like a guy. Man. Right, right. Hey, what's your bad number? Hey, what's your bad number? 287. 287? Yep. I remember that. Okay, it'll be on your report. Fuck. I showed you, told you you show me respect, dude. That's all you have to do. 
I showed you respect till you try to stick a finger on my ass. After successfully placing him in the police cruiser, Kadim was taken to the station. However, on the way to the police department, his belligerent behavior only got worse. When you want to kick people and you want to act out, that's how you get treated. And dirty three, I'm going to show you a racist too. Yeah, I get it, but I'm sorry. Sorry you feel that way. You act like I'm a real threat. You act like I'm killing out here. That's real as mother. You worry about a bum. You worry about the next stem You the bitch. How much money you gonna make off this? Stop trying to get your cuffs off. Hey. Uh -huh. Stop trying to get your cuffs off or else I'm gonna stop the car and try to I'll make sure they're tight. Uh -huh. 32, we're stopping. Looks like you got out of one of those cuffs. I'm just going to wait till you get a little closer and then we're going to go. I just don't want him to swing at me. Well, you think I'm going to swing at you? Yep. Here. Yeah, we got your bag. Alright, 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 alright. Gang, gang, gang. Why the fuck are you so aggressive, nigga? Get the fuck off me, nigga. Fuck. Nigga, you think I'm going to swing off this bitch? Dead dog. What's our apartment? Sitting here, Jolly at four. I'm finna, I'm finna sue the fuck out y'all ass. And how the fuck you just stand in there? You letting them do that? No comment. I'm not no threat. I'm not shooting no guns. I'm not killing nobody. And you treating me like this? I should beat the fuck. After they got to the station, Kadim was charged with retail theft and aggravated battery to a peace officer and later transferred to the county adult detention facility. But shoplifters acting entitled doesn't end here, as you'll soon see. I'm not doing nothing and I'm pregnant. Okay, what's your name? I didn't do it. On June 27, 2023, police officers received a call about two women stealing from Target in Illinois. Upon arrival, the officers found the women loading their car with the $1,000 worth of stolen merchandise. You guys just took from Target? No. Yeah, they just called you just stole from them? No. No. Is anyone put the 28? We have returns. Anybody got an idea on them? No. Okay, well they just said you took over a thousand bucks worth of stuff from them, so you got an ID? No. Give me a name then. Lock your doors. They can't do that. This is their merchandise. No, Damn. All right. This is not their merchandise. Lock your doors. Yeah. Stop. Not, I didn't do shit. You're not going to push me out of the way. I didn't do shit. Hey, you're not going to push me out of the way. way. I'm not doing nothing and I'm pregnant. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do shit. They're going to push me. I pushed no, you. Yeah, you did. I did not push you. I yes, pushed you the door. And you hurt in my arm. I'm not resisting. All right. You, stop, you, stop you moving. You have been resisting the whole time. No, I didn't. You didn't even grab me. That shit is hurting. And like I said, I'm pregnant. All right. Stop coming in time crimes while you're pregnant. Let, let me go. You don't know what I did. I didn't you're, do shit. You're not being let go. All right, I don't, don't have anybody inside. So just stop it. Don't even ask. Okay, can you no, let please, me go? I'm not be on the way out. Can you please let me go? Yeah. I'm not resisting. No. I'm right. pregnant. You already okay. did resist once. We're not going to I pushed the door. Can you let me please no. untie this? No. no. I'm not going to be quiet. Okay. Can you? Well, I'm pregnant. Can you please no. untie this? No. I'm pregnant. Please. No. I'm not resisting arrest. During the encounter, one of the women quickly claimed that she was pregnant, hoping to avoid arrest. However, her behavior led the officers to put her in cuffs and then place her in the police cruiser while her partner was questioned about the items found in their possession. I, I don't know what's going on, obviously. But she's obviously causing the problem right now, so I'd like, you seem more like a more reasonable one. I'd like to hear from you as to what's going on. I mean, is there any reason why this is happening today? I can help work and get her right to the store. What was that? This is your car? Yes. Yeah, for, uh, the store with her? Yes. Yeah. What were you guys looking for in the store? She is moving to her apartment. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
guys pay for any of the stuff? Close the screen too. Do you try to scan anything or just kind of walk right out? Just walk right out? Anything else in the car that you guys already loaded up? She said that, uh, she, uh, her, her, she said that uh, the stuff in the car is because she's moving. So is anything in this car yours? No. It's all hers. Okay. Are you clear for your return? So obviously if she's... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. If she's... Stealing stuff, and that's not yours. We're gonna go to your car and we're gonna go ahead and find out what's in here because I don't want you getting in trouble for something that's not yours. Okay, so is there anything in the car that you know that shouldn't be? Anything in the car that's illegal? like like drugs or guns, drugs or guns or something like that? No, stealing is any stolen property, anything like that? No. After hearing the truth from the second woman, the officers proceeded to search their car and soon explained to her what next was going to happen to them. I'll tell you what, I, I'm the boss. So I, I'm not going to be the one that's going to be handling the, the whole case. I'm not going to be, you know, interviewing you guys again. Um, so we're going to have another officer who's eventually going to come in and talk to you. And I, and, uh, I appreciate how, how straightforward, straight up front and honest you've been and calm. We appreciate that. I don't appreciate that, um, how she was acting. But um, just if you maintain that throughout this entire process, that's going to be much better for you than it's going to be for her. She's going to, she's going to, she's going to have problems. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's up? So, is it a way that since the stuff is just still here, like, can they just get it back or like out her getting in trouble or, or something like that? No, there, the stuff was stolen. And, and, I, and again, the fact that she, um, I didn't see the whole thing, but it, she definitely was pulling away from the officer and causing a little bit of a problem. So we, that's got to get addressed as well. But the bottom line is, you guys, um, whoever takes the majority of the responsibility, I don't know yet, but the bottom line is, you knew she was stealing. Yeah. And you guys were together. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the video is going to show you both putting stuff in the shopping cart. Yes. Right. So you both are going to have some responsibility. But again, the level of that responsibility is still up in the air. Um, depends on if you've, how many times you've been if you've been arrested before for retail theft. That matters. Um, I haven't. We can get into that later. Um, the level of your co you know, the level of your cooperation that matters as well. The state attorneys are are they're looking for reasons to. Um, I don't want to say give breaks because everyone's going to be held responsible to some extent, but. Um, the level at which you're being held is going, to, is going to depend a lot of, a lot on you and and um, how you react to the situation the rest of the night. It is quite dumb that the woman thought they could return the stolen items and all would be forgotten. But while she remained calm and cooperative, her partner, on the other hand, acted entitled and refused to acknowledge what she had done. Understand what were you on? You were mean as hell for me. I that's what I was about to tell you. It looked like I think that we all got off to a little bit of a bad start. I don't like it when I see somebody, it looked to me like you were struggling and resisting with one of my officers. I'll just push the we, door. We, all right, yeah, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm already caught. I can't be no blunt than I already am. I'm not, if I wasn't, I was not complying. I just pushed the door and closed it. Did I not? I he see. never grabbed me. I just pushed the door and closed it. Okay. He never touched me. He never asked me to turn around. He didn't say nothing to me. So gotcha. that's not. Well, I wasn't here for the conversation. So I, you I don't right up. You pulled up first. No, I was, I was like the fourth one to pull up. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, you still me. I don't like that. Right. Well, I'm not always gonna be nice, but when you're yelling, you should. Because no, have... I'm pregnant and I asked y'all to release the cuffs just oh. a little bit. It's and not we, like and, I'm gonna run. But, and we did, right? We took it the cuffs took off. It took 20 f***ing minutes, and like I said, I'm three months pregnant. It definitely didn't take 20 minutes. It took too damn long. I'm a human being. It don't matter what I did. I don't deserve for my wrist to be twisted. The up to my neck. That's not All this while, the woman repeated that she was pregnant and shouldn't have been treated the way she was. But what's surprising is that even after being transported to the station, her sense of entitlement only got worse. Was mean to me, How was I mean to you? I don't like the way y'all handled me. If I said I'm in pain, I'm in Okay. Don't treat me like I'm George Floyd. I didn't treat you like you were George or Floyd. Taylor. Did I treat you? Or okay, Sandra first of all, Williams. George George Floyd got put on the ground and knelt yeah, on for like nine minutes. Exactly you didn't get put on the floor. You didn't get put anywhere for nine minutes, wrist, right? I'm three months pregnant. But you didn't get put on the I'm ground. A pregnant woman. But you didn't get put on I'm the a ground. Pregnant woman. Number one. Number two, Breonna Taylor got shot. Did anybody I shoot you? 
I remember it felt, it, it, so it's I not felt even like close. I would be shot you because y'all didn't even give me a chance. Y'all didn't even. I'm gonna be upset if your colleagues take the shit that I worked hard for. I really am. Because I, I don't have an issue with saying one, four, eight, one, I get it. what one, was four, took eight, and what was not. Taken. I understand. I, I totally get that. It's a lot of shit with tags on it that were was not stolen. I transported it. As you can see, hmm? can't you see clothes in a big ass laundry but now, bag? But you have to trip. understand. I have clothes in the tote. I have clothes that were shoes, boxes of shoes that I paid for. I get it. Literally, this mm -hmm. stuff was not stolen. Okay. Understand. I'm not out there. That's not my part of this. My part of this is just to get you. But they touch shit that's not but, but let me ask you this. How are we supposed to see what is stolen and what isn't stolen if we don't look through it? That's part of our job. We have to. Because what was in the carts is what we didn't even get a chance to put the shit in the car. That is not true. What? The TV? What did we put it? Okay, the TV. the TV and what else? I don't know. Because I wasn't. I didn't talk to the security people. I didn't talk to anybody else. So I don't know. And to be fair, I don't know. The two suspects were later charged with retail theft, and the pregnant woman was additionally charged with resisting arrest. But the pregnant woman wasn't the only suspect who got caught shoplifting, as you'll see in this next case. So, right now you're under arrest for theft. For what? For theft. For theft. This is Tuar, a habitual shoplifter who had stolen from Target eight times before. However, on August 16, 2023, she was caught shoplifting again and greeted by officers upon exiting, but then decided to do the unthinkable. So, you're identifying somebody from this store who has that uh, history from shopping here. Today, you received. For a while, possibly concealing items to include clothing, jewelry, some other items to stop at self checkout. And they want to need to get you identified so that they can prosecute you for the other incidents and they want to know if you can steal any other items. Would you be willing to, look, to open up your purse just so I can see you didn't conceal anything? So there's items with target tags on those. I came in here with that. What's that? I came in here with that. And just so you know, our body cams are on, so you're being recorded. She yeah, has what looks like uh, underwear or some sort of. Underwear. Yeah, so I saw just like an underwear, jewelry, and like a pair of shoes. I don't have no shoes. Any shoes about the jewelry? Jewelry? I've been in there with this. So every single one of those things has tags on them. Okay. And when they go back, so that's a lot of jewelry. Okay, well, you can have this. Have it? Yeah, have that's, it. That's, that's what I saw her so like. That's all right. All right. I'm not going to go, please. So, right now you're under arrest for theft. For what? For a theft. I just explained. Get off me! No, stop. No, get off! Stop! No, get off me! Get off me! Absolutely not. Get off me! You broke my watch. Oh That's my rude. gosh, please get off me. Hey, put your hands behind your no, back. You're under please arrest. Get off. For what? You're under arrest for theft, just like I told you before. Okay, let me get up. At first, Tuar denied taking anything from the store, but after pulling out some of the stolen merchandise from her bag, she realized what kind of trouble and took to her heels. However, she didn't get far before officers caught and arrested her. So I'm not trying to go to jail. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to go to jail, though. You should have thought about that before you run. I'm, I'm sorry. reasonable. I could have cited you and released you. Please, you man. started this. I'm so okay. sorry. Now you're under arrest for obstruction as well. We're trying to run. Oh, I'm so sorry. Take a step to your left. Here, Separate your please. feet. I don't want you to kick my partner. If you I'm do, you're going to get an assault on officer charge no, too. I'm not going to kick. Please, please let me go, please. All right, let's walk please. to the police car. I'm apologizing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think the throwing of the Pepsi on me was know, not necessary. I, I know, I'm so sorry. I really do apologize. Like, can you please let me go? No. I just got out of jail. Oh my okay. God. Oh my I'm gonna God. Put that on my I just got out of jail. <laughs> so everything is being recorded on my body cam, as well as my partner's body cam. So what I'm gonna do is first, we're gonna grab your index fingers, just to make sure you provide us a real name, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what were you in jail for before? Because <laughs> I had two old warrants that I just squashed. And what were those for? Um, a DUI and um, a trespassing Motel 6. Okay. After confirming her name, she was read her Miranda and then questioned about her actions. Having your rights in mind, do you want to talk to me now? 
Yes, I don't want to go to jail. Okay. Well, what was going on inside? Jail. You concealed all of those items that you offered to give back? Yes. Okay. Why? Oh, because I don't want to go to jail. No, I'm saying you concealed them in the store. Did you have any intention of paying for them? I was at first, but then I, then I didn't because I didn't have enough money for them. Okay. So when you, when you put all of those items in the bag, you were knowingly concealing them. And when you walked out the door with those items in your bag, you knew you didn't pay for them, you knew you stole them. Is that about right? Yes. Okay. So, why come in here to steal? Because I don't have the money for it. I don't know. I don't have the money for it. Do you have a job? No. Can you get a job? Yes. Okay. Why don't you do that? Instead of coming into Target trying to steal, why don't you come into Target and ask for work? I know it's not always that easy, but sometimes it is. All these businesses around here are trying to recover from COVID, so everybody's got a hiring sign up. You would expect that someone who had been arrested before would learn from their mistake, but it's evident that isn't the case with her. What's surprising is how she continued talking instead of remaining silent, incriminating herself further. You have a drug problem you're maybe paying for with these drugs or with these, with these stolen items? Yes. Okay. What's the going rate now for like? underwear and jewelry and stuff or was that for your own personal use the underwear was my own personal use and then what are you getting for jewelry these the days jewelry, i was going to sell it to somebody to for them to buy it for my drug habits how many blues are you getting for like a piece of jewelry like one just one yeah where are you getting that at from somebody that i know okay. please i just gotta let you i'm trying to go back to jail you guys can so when that. i was you standing there talking to you about it and you're like, I don't want to go back to jail. And I say, yeah, you're, you are under arrest. I can always arrest you. And then you and I have this conversation. And then I say, hey, I'm going to let you go since you were cooperative in the snap, but you showed you I'm weren't going to be cooperative no, when I you apologize. ran and then you threw a soda I'm at me. Sorry, I apologize. Now I have, I literally washed my uniform last night. Now I, I have apologize. soda all over me. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to go to jail, guys can trespass me free here. I won't come back well, here. I'm like, yeah, well, so you're getting that too. You're trespassed from Target for life. You can never come back. Okay. They also have eight other cases that I'm going to look at the footage of. So far, what they said was the total that you have stolen from this store is between $1,500 and $2,000. So if that's the case, then we're looking at possible felony charges for organized retail theft, depending on how the prosecutor wants to handle it. Or each one of those days is a separate theft charge. In the end, Tuar received a permanent trespass from all target locations and was subsequently charged with shoplifting, assault, possession of stolen property, resisting arrest, and drug possession. But shoplifters doing the unthinkable doesn't end here, as is the case with Johnny. No. Show me my mother's blood! No. Alright, don't keep this. Stop. Stop. Stop kicking it. Oh. Watch this. This is Johnny who on April 20th, 2023, was reported for shoplifting and causing trouble for the staff at Walgreens. When the officers arrived, things were supposed to be resolved with a simple citation. However, the situation took a turn for the worse when Johnny decided to do the dumbest thing you can think of. Hey man, can you come over here and talk to me for a minute? Because I got a complaint. How about you walking in here with an open container? I did. And making and making complaint or making I people make, feel I didn't make nothing. I was just mad because I asked her a question and she acted like she couldn't answer my question. Okay. Alright, stand up for me. What? Where's the open container at? It's over here. Relax. Where's it at? It's over there. Hold on, turn it right now. No. Are you serious? You gonna drink it right in front of me, man? Put the bag down. Put the bag down. Put the bag down. I don't buy you. Don't grab me. I don't do nothing. Damn. I got money. Put the bag man. down. I ain't do shit. Put the bag down. Damn. All right. Do me a favor. Put your hands behind. For what? I didn't do nothing. Put your hands behind your back for me. For what? I didn't do nothing. You're under arrest for mm -hmm. disorderly conduct right now. Disorderly conduct? I and didn't do shit. Dude, seriously. Don't Come make on, this. Are you don't serious? make. Don't make this harder than what I it has to be. I didn't do shit, man. Don't make this harder than what Please, it has to be. I didn't do shit. Come on, man. Why are you Stop. arresting me? I don't, don't want to fight with you. All right. Why are you arresting Stop. me? I didn't do shit. Stop. Stop. I didn't do nothing. 
nothing, though. I'm not doing nothing, sir. Get on the floor. Get on the ground. I didn't do nothing, though. That's what I'm saying. Because I was drinking. Put Come your on. arms behind your back. I didn't do nothing, though. I didn't do nothing. I'll come in here with the beer. That's it. I didn't mother I'm in with the beer. Let go of your hands right now. I'm not going to say it again. All right. All right. Stop Around. Stop around. Do what? I didn't do nothing. Put your arms behind your back now. Oh my god. Unless they stop. Oh my god. Alright. What did I do? Cause I came here with a beer? Due to Johnny's behavior, the officers decided to arrest him. But surprisingly, he thought running away was a better choice. After putting him in handcuffs, the officers searched his bag, and instead of confessing, Johnny tried to justify his actions. So what you do? Just knock that over? Yeah. No, we didn't. No, we that not. No. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's his beer, right? Yeah. Look, I'm soaked. <laughs> and what, what is that? I came in with that from another store. You bought all that? Yeah, I got, I got cash, bro. I'll show you. Okay. I got cash app. I got all that, bro. What the fuck? I do shit, bro. That's that? the thing. Well, well, here's the thing, man. I, I said... I apologize. No, I do apologize. You're open container you in public. You're I under know, arrest. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right? I'm sorry. Not only that, the alcohol on your breath. Yeah, I'll be drinking. Everything like that, yeah. Bro, you... And then you want to run? I'm homeless. I got all these friends that... That's not the way to go friends. about it, man. Hang on a second. What, do you got an ID on you? Yeah, I got an ID. Where? Right here, in this top pocket. Hang on, man, I ain't even do nothing. You Puerto Rican too? Come on, bro, don't do me like that. I'm already homeless, fuck. I don't want to go to jail, man. I ain't do nothing, man. Is that your bag right there? Yeah. Were you planning on paying for that, or are you taking yeah. it? Yeah, what you mean? He's, he said he got it for Family Dollar. Well, he no, I didn't get it for Family Dollar. I never said Family Dollar. Well, what do you say you got, got it from? I from another store. I picked, bro, I got, look. Reach in here. What, you got cash? I got cash, I got my cash app. You have a receipt? Look. Right, well, put your money back in your pocket, because we don't want to say, well, just fell now. We'll get it, stop, we'll get it. Bro, when we say put your hands on your back, I know, but damn, I didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's not the point. You can't public. be running. And I, I, I know, you know. And, I, and I apologize for that. I'm going you, through so you, much right you now. You went from like a simple citation to like something more than that. I'm going through so much right now, man. Soon after, Johnny was escorted to the police cruiser while the items were taken to the counter where each of them was identified, exposing Johnny. Do you know if any of this is your guys's? Oh, yes. Definitely. Okay. Mostly all that. When we came in, that was empty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it only had bottles in there when we came in. What kind of bottles? It was, all I saw was drinks, like pop. Like, it was down here. It's like an orange pop. That's all I see. Okay. So, all this is probably yours? All of them, yeah. All of them will be yours. Yeah. <laughs> What about these socks? I feel like those are, I feel like the only thing that was in the bag was a pop there. These socks are yours too? Yeah, I can I show you. So everything in there is ours. Besides this pop? Because I saw that, when he came in, I seen him because he asked me where the 18 was. I said, you just walked past it. He looked at me like he wanted to say something smart. Because he was yelling at somebody before he came in. Like, you stupid bitch. And then that's when he came in. Went to the ATM, but he went back there to the pharmacy. And he and told my technician that he had to get away. People were effing pissing him off. Okay. But while officers searched him, they found more items in his pocket that only made matters worse for him. Do you have any weapons, uh, no, drugs? No, no, no. no guns, anything no. like that? He has so much shit. I'm probably... Probably not. Uh, well, you have it all here. Yeah, I have another one if you need it. Come on. Well, no, I'm good right now. I'm good. Stop. Come on, man. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Come on, man. You have all this stuff here? Sure you pay for this? Come on. Stop. What? You're Must squeezing be. my arm, hey, brother. No. Don't talk to them. Don't look at their cameras. His, his jacket's filled with stuff again. 
Did they say that was theirs? Yeah. No, I bet they would. Yeah, see if he was shoving stuff in his pockets. At this point, it was evident that Johnny had no intention of paying for the items he had taken, and it was clear he would be taken to jail. However, when the officers attempted to place him in the police cruiser, Johnny became belligerent, and that's when the situation escalated drastically. I'll put the fucking seat down. I'll put the seat on. Brother, oh, stop. Put, don't brother, put the seat. cool. Put the seat uh, Be cool. I'm gonna get the fuck out of it. Don't put the seat Put the seat down. Brother, do, you want, do, do we have to hog tie your fucking legs? I don't give a fuck what you do. All right, here. Stop acting like here, an asshole. Here, hog tie If you kick me, you you're gonna I'm, get another I'm fucking charge, right? I'm not gonna kick you. Come I over here. I didn't do nothing. Come over here. No. Come over here, bro. No. Come over here. No. Come on. The up. I ain't your child. All right. You're acting like a fucking child. Shut the fuck up. All right. How about you that? You want to go over there and try to put it on? Uh, talk to whoever you want. Brother, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Wow, yeah, sitting in the front. Why are you putting your legs? So it won't f***ing hurt. It hurts my f***ing wrist. Okay, we didn't tell you to put it in the front, okay? It doesn't matter. All right. It hurts. What the f***? What are you doing? All right, well, you're just going to be like this till we get to the jail. All right. Stop! What the? What, what are you doing? I didn't do nothing. That's not the point. All right, you're making this worse on your toes. Bro, I'm All trying right. to. Leave. I don't give I'm a. Bro, charge you up. I got okay. six numbers. Listen, I don't care. You, need to you are gonna charge, charge me for what? For nothing I did. You're gonna charge me because you're a cop from Lakewood, and this is what you're gonna do. Even though you're a black man, like I'm a black man. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't matter. Look. That shit don't mean nothing. I just, I've been waiting for my ride. I don't want to go home. Yeah, and he's, and he's going to be tied up if he does it again. All right. All right, so look. You give one more chance. The cuffs are going behind your back, okay? We're going to take you out. You don't need on, any man. fights or anything like that, all right? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. It is quite surprising that even after all that happened, Johnny still refused to acknowledge his wrongdoings and chose to be entitled. However, this was only the beginning of his belligerent behavior. Hey, listen, I'm gonna put him behind my back. Stop driving. Oh, I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna, stop. So he doh have look, I'm gonna do him. I swear to God, I'm gonna do him. I'm gonna do him easily. All right? Just do it. Don't be rough. Just do it. Behind your back. And stop. You say, Johnny, can you please put your arms behind Johnny, I'm not. Plan. Give me your arms. You say, Johnny, back. put your arms behind stop your back. Resisting. Break that bitch. Break it. Brother, stop. Break it. Break it. Break that Brother, what? Break it. Uh, I, yeah. I didn't do shit. Just say, Johnny, please put your arms behind your back. Okay. And please I'll do put it. Your hands okay. Behind your back. Okay. Stop now. Resisting. Okay. Now, stop pulling. I'm going to do it. Stop pulling. Look, I'm already okay. separated. And you still want to keep pulling. Brother. What the fuck? What the fuck? Somebody get that other hand out. Uh -huh. Give us your other hand. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah. Your other hand, stop resisting us. I wasn't. Oh, fuck. Oh, stop. Stop. Oh, stop trying to choke me. Don't touch me. Don't, Don't touch me. Cooperate in that off me. Don't touch me. Are Come you going to sit right? I am. You going to hit Come me here. with that shit? I'm not trying to. You're going to hit you me. Stop you moving. How about if I just took off on you, right? I wouldn't give a f about no sorry, I've been in prison. But all tight shit. What are you doing, brother? You! You're yeah. fucking trying to choke me, bitch! Sit down, sit what down. What do you mean? No! Sit down. He's sit trying down. to choke me. What sit do you mean? Down. Look, you two? You trying sit to choke down. me too? You trying to choke me too? Go ahead. I just see you in there. I love you. Yeah, that's the best. Choke me. 
Okay, yes. After successfully putting him in the police cruiser, Johnny was transported to the station for booking. But just when you think he would have learned his lesson, his behavior only got worse. You can't go for this. You play with cops as hoes. <laughs> Uh, let's get back into the grass then. Now I had to wait then. What? Let's go. Uh, Yo. Yeah. Give me my glasses, bitch. Huh? Give me my glasses. I can't see. Give me my glasses. I have your glasses on. Give me them. 27. I can't. You see, yes, y'all treated me like the whole time. Y'all. Complainant just wanted to leave her first name, no other information, but she said they were both driving recklessly and then the Lincoln stopped. Okay, there you go. Stop kicking the door. No. F you. Where the f is my money at? It's in the property bag. Show me my motherfucking money. Then. You ain't gonna see it now. Show me my motherfucking money. No. All right. I'm kicking this. Stop. Stop kicking, kicking the glass. Kicking open. Watch this. Watch this. Stop kicking the glass. Bitch, I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this. Y'all treated me like shit. I ain't do shit. Then they gonna lie like, yeah, it looks like my stem. Shut up. I just pay for all that. Shut up back there. You shut the fuck up. What you talking to, man? Slap whatever charges. I don't give a f been to jail. It's got six numbers. This charge is right I number. don't give a yeah, f even after they got to the station, Johnny stood his ground and refused to cooperate with the officers. Let's go! Get everybody else! Get them ready! Let's go! Pale ass! Let's go! You ready? What's going on? Nothing, man. They came at me because I had a beer. I apologize for the beer. I'm, I'm frustrated. I just got out of jail. Yeah. Don't nobody want to pick me up. And then they came at me crazy. Then they didn't want to grab me and wrestle me down and all this, all the other bulls. And then when I told them, I'm gonna put my hand behind my back. That little, that little light skin keep trying to want to grab me and I'm like, please stop grabbing me. I'm gonna put my hand behind my back. And she keep pulling me and pulling me. What? What are you shaking your head for? No, the f you're not. I will spit in your face. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to him. Matter of fact, get the f out of here. Let me talk to him. Okay. Please. Thank you. I try to put my hands behind my back and she want to keep trying to break my arm and I didn't do nothing. I was in the store with a beer. Okay. And I apologize for that. I'm frustrated. I'm trying to get a ride home and everything. I just want to go home. I didn't come down here for no bullshit or nothing. I didn't do nothing. You going to be square with me? We going to help? Come in here and we'll just get this done real quick. Put you back in there. You're just here. So it's not what Put me back in what? Back in the cell. No, I don't want to go back in the cell. I'm only going to have to. Why? Because it's our policy for what's going on right now, okay? All right? I got to make some phone calls then. Can I get some phone calls then? Not now. No? All right. Yeah, no. Then we better have hell. Y'all about to just break my head, bust my head, and do whatever. If I can't get phone calls, what? Shut the fuck up. Ain't nobody talking to you. Johnny was later charged with theft, open container, resisting arrest, and obstruction. But if you thought shoplifters getting what they deserve ends here, wait until you see this next case. You need to ride motherfucking faster because I need my mother too and I got the piss. Come on, piss out of it. Out of your motherfucking backseat. On July the 2nd, 2023, a woman attempted to steal at Winn-Dixie Grocery Store checkout but was caught and reported to the police. When officers arrived, they wasted no time assessing the situation. I'm past myself. I got three different transactions. And that's all I was doing. Three different transactions. I'm past myself. Why the f that? I got a, I got a mother f amen to a bitch. Why I got to do that and I'm paying for my shit? What do you, what do you mean amen? Him! Okay. I'm paying for my stuff. Three different transactions. I, bitch, I got money. Bitch, I ain't worried about that. But I'm just saying I'm paying for my stuff. That's all I'm doing. I got three different transactions, so I'm paying for my stuff, and that's 
Alright, where's, uh, where's the stuff at? Open up! So she paid for it. The whole bug is already packed up. Let this pay for it. This is all that's paid from the bug. She's attempting to pay for the bug. So they told her she has to pay for everything. She's making a big scene out of it. So for the record, she only paid for one item? It's not even paid. This is a suspended receipt. A suspended transaction? Yes. But yeah, she's yeah, yeah, she paid for yes. She's trying to... So she's trying to scam. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to pay for different each transaction injury one by one. No, you don't. No. Know. So like I said, she's making a, she's been making a big scene. That's trespassing. This is like the first time we had incident with her. And they suspended my, my transaction and I'm paying for it. Okay. All right, what's your name? You got your ID with you? Don't worry about my ID. I just want my shit. You know what? Okay. That's a sweet day. Okay, listen. Listen to me. Don't worry that about my ID. Don't worry about the mother thing. Okay, listen. That's it. That's it. Listen. 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 She didn't pay for her items. Right, and I'm, talking, I'm speaking to him, so give me one second. Relax. Relax. She was going to try to uh, do one by one individual on the items, but she had the whole part full, ready to walk out. So, the manager just wants to not prosecute, but wants to go ahead and trespass her. So, that's it. What is that? So, for today, we're going to grab your ID. We're going to get your information. I'm going to come back tomorrow. You're not, you're not, you're not, if you come back tomorrow, I'm committed when it's Listen, perfectly. That's fine. And y'all not get my ID either. Okay, well now you're gonna go to jail then for obstruction because I'm you're not giving me your ID. Nope. Okay. Okay. So you gonna take me to jail? Yeah, I'm gonna jail. You wanna go home? I'm going home. They give me the ID. Stop playing games. Give me the ID. Or you gonna go home? That's my hand. Stop playing games. Or you gonna get the ID? That's my hand. Well. I would get it to you. Okay. Get, get the ID. Well, let go my hand. Don't hold my mother. Okay. Get the ID. Cause I'm not playing games. I'm not playing. I need now. ID now, or you're gonna get a resistant, you're gonna get a resistant charge. Go, go with the ID. Go with the ID. ID. Go with the ID. So you can afford all this. Can you get the ID? Because I'm ready. Give me a minute! Well, Let up. me go on my way! Hurry up, get the ID. Around with a good glass piece. Because I ain't going no jail. Okay, give me the ID. Just yeah. give me a minute. Let me find it. Can you give me a minute to find Just give me your name. It's a lot easier. Give no, your name. I'm going to give you my ID. You're about to go to jail. I'm not I playing with you. Okay. Right. You are going to go to jail if you keep playing with me. Because my patience is running very thin. And my, my okay. So running. give me your name or you got two minutes to give me the ID. Give me a minute. Let me find it. You got about one minute left. Well, you got to wait a minute. What's your name? Thank you. How hard was that? It's quite surprising that even after being exposed, she proved to be entitled instead of being accountable for what she had done. While the officer ran a check on her identity, the woman's obnoxious behavior only seemed to get worse. I ain't scared of y'all. Y'all want me to be scared? I ain't scared. I ain't double scared. Listen. Why the f time? But you Listen. got my ID. When I see, let me go to the store. Let me get what I'm gonna get and go home and go to Bravo and get me some more mother
not being trespassed. Hold on. Hold on. That includes the liquor store. So if you come anywhere on this plaza, that includes the liquor store. The liquor store is part of Winn Dixie. You're going to jail. It doesn't matter. If you come back here anywhere on this property, you're going to jail, okay? Alright, that's a case number. I don't need that shit. Alright, have a wonderful day. All through the encounter, the woman yelled all sorts of profanities at both the manager and the police officers, but despite her hostile demeanor, she was initially let go with a trespass warning, but this proved not to be enough. Refusing to leave, still here on the property, causing a disturbance. We told you to leave. You're still I'm finna go. Oh, you're still here complaining. No, I'm finna go. We went on my sister. I'm finna go. Let's go. No, I'm finna go. Out of the car. My sister went in the store. Out of the car. 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 We're gonna pull you out of this car. Out of the car, or I'm gonna pull you out of the car. Let's go. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I'm finna go. Let's go. Get out of the car. Come on. Get out of the car. Come on. Get out of the car. Let's go. We're way past that. Let's go. No, we finna go. Hold on, Chantel. No, hold on. Let's go. No, I need my phone. No. Okay, now you're gonna get a charge for resisting. Let's go. You keep resisting and you're done. Let's go. No, let me get my wallet. I'm gonna get anything. Let me get my wallet. I got it. No, somebody get my wallet. Get my. No, you finna break. Dude, I broke my nail. Let me get my wallet. I don't care about your nails. Any of that. We told you to leave and you continue to leave. I'm finna go, my sister. Nope, 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 We are done with that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We are past that. We told you to leave. You're still on the property yelling and screaming. I'm finna go. Causing a big scene. Nope. You're no reason. Open up the phone. My sister okay. went no, on the phone. No, we're, we're done. Sorry. Get, that. get my wallet. Get my purse. Let's go. Have a seat. Have a seat, please. I'm finna go. Have a seat. Have a seat or I'll sit you down. Have a seat. Have a seat because we're done playing games. Let's go. Sit I'm down. I'm finna go. Sit down. Or I'm, I'm gonna... finna go. Sit down. Sit down. And don't want to move, bitch. Let's go. Sit down. Sit down. I hate no people. Let's go. After arresting her and placing the woman in the police cruiser, she was transported to the police department. But if you thought the woman would realize her mistake and come to her senses, you're wrong. Can I have my shoe? Yeah, your shoe's in the front. That one child bitches wanted the mother dude. Take me to jail. Y'all been wanting the mother take me to jail with that old flower ass shit. That's what y'all bitches wanted the dude. Take me to jail. 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 Give me my shoe. I'm not worried about your shoe. I want my mother shoe. I don't care what you want. I don't give a f bitch. Give me my mother f shoe. Fuck. Give me my shoe. Give me my shoe. Finna leave. I can't stop my sister from going in the f store. The f wrong with y'all, bitches. Give me my mother f shoe so I get no f away from y'all. And I'm gonna get out in the morning. In the morning, bitch. Trespassing? Oh, that's nothing. Bitch, I know the law. Bitch, my god, my miss a fing bell sponge me. Bitch, I ain't know the fing law. You need to ride motherfucking faster because I need my mother too and I got the kids. Come a piss out of it and shit out of your motherfucking back seat. Bitch, so heavy up and get me the fuck up out this fing ass shit. I hate you, bitches. I hate y'all. I was leaving. My sister went in the house though. I can't mother make her hurry up. And she went in the house though. The fuck wrong with you, bitch? I was leaving. I was going home to my brother. I was going home. Hurry the fuck up. Y'all wanted to take me to jail. For what? Cause I'm paying for my shit. Oh, y'all kiss my ass. She was later charged with misdemeanor trespassing and resisting arrest. Despite pleading guilty, she failed to cover the court costs, resulting in the suspension of her license. But suspects getting caught doesn't end here. It gets even worse. Yo, on the ground, on the ground now! Hold on. Get, get 
This is Richard, who on October 13, 2023, had stolen a $4,099 Burberry jacket from the mall at Short Hills Burberry store and strolled out wearing it, prompting a report to the Milburn Police Department. When police officers arrived, they found Richard leaving the Canada Goose store with a $1,575 jacket in his hands that he hadn't paid for. What happens next isn't something you'd expect from someone who has just been caught red-handed. For some reason, Richard suddenly became combative and left the officers no choice but to arrest him. However, even when it was clear what he was being arrested for, Richard was uncooperative and chose to play dumb. <laughs> Chilling, man. What, what am I being arrested for? Serving me? Huh? For assaulting oh. me? Oh. I was just doing an investigation, man. You tried to get very tight loose, but you had to fucking get an issue. Huh? You're being recorded video and audio, okay? What do you mean? You're being recorded by a body camera. Listen, I don't understand what you're talking about. What's your name, bro? Huh? What's your name? What do you mean? What's your first name? My name is Jesus. They came to motherfucker save you today. Okay. Okay. Right. You got my phone? Yeah, I got all shit. I got things, man. Listen, I'm gonna read your rights. I don't need to read the rights. I have to. I'll read my rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Listen, 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 I'm gonna read your rights, okay? They gotta come pick. Alright. Hey, come on, man. I'm getting the door for you guys. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Don't, you go first, man. Cut it out. This is your world, man. Go ahead. Cut it out. Let him go first. No, no you go first, brother. Cut it out. At this point, it was evident that the young man would be taken to jail, but instead of confessing, he continued to hide the truth about what happened. Yo, Richard, you remember me? We were at the hospital together? Listen, man, why am I here? Why am I locked up? Did you just take something from the store, bro? Listen, I'm gonna read your I'm, rights. Somebody's about to come pay for it. I'm gonna read your rights again, okay? You can't okay? walk out with it, man. Huh? Are you, did, you, did you get any help with your medications or anything like that? What are you talking about? Somebody's about to come pay for it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. My man. Did what you are you talking about? Medication. There's no medication. Somebody's about to come pay for it. Yeah, I'm not talking guy, about that. You know how much money these got? Yeah, yeah, you should. You know what I'm saying? Richard, Richard, Yo, a salad costs 24 dollars. Okay. Just salad. I was looking at a salad. Right. That's all I was trying to eat was a salad right. before I got interrupted. Okay, Rich. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. Do you yeah, remember when we went to hospital? Twenty dollars. These motherfuckers got money, man. I know they got money. Yeah. Why, 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 they charge thirteen dollars for salad? And I'm okay with that. Okay. But listen, if I was trying to get a salad at your establishment, that means I came in peace, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so why can't you just fuck this f***ing bill for me? You guys want to lock me up for some bullshit right now? That's not what about. Yes, it is. You know that it's always about. It's always about that. You know why it's always about that? Why? Because there's no understanding. There's no middle. You and I had no. There's no middle ground. There's no middle ground. There's never any middle ground. You understand? That's your belief. I understand. No, no, it's not my belief. It is. I told you somebody's coming to fucking check, and you think I'm. I'm lying about that shit. You think I'm lying? No, no, no. Nobody said anything about you lying. Yeah. Bro. You got locked up for assaulting me. That's it. You ain't locked I up for didn't, I didn't assault you. I didn't assault you. I didn't see myself assaulting you. I was teaching myself, showing you something. What were you showing me? Huh? Huh? I was showing you something. There's different techniques that's needed. Okay. 
Soon after, the officers discovered that Richard had stolen a total of $9,658 worth of merchandise and was subsequently taken to the station, where he was charged with robbery, aggravated assault on an officer, resisting arrest, and criminal mischief. But it's not only Richard who was caught red-handed, as you'll soon see. Why are you so detaining me? Why are you so detaining me? Ma'am, I've been a officer my whole life, you bitch, I'll spit on you, on March 23, 2023, a woman had boarded the Frontier Terminal at Miami International Airport along with other passengers for a flight to Philadelphia when she got into a verbal altercation with another passenger over her $5,000 designer Louis Vuitton bag being accidentally scratched. Despite numerous efforts by the airline's crew to persuade her to disembark from the plane, she refused to do so, prompting Miami-Dade officers to report to the terminal. I know how to conduct myself. Put your bags in the front. Why? 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 Due to her persistent refusal, the officers wasted no time arresting her. However, the young woman continued to be uncooperative and subsequently tried to justify her actions. A man can hold me, but not a man. Look at how they, no, I will. I am not. I am not hyped. Look, I'm not hyped. Look at how he's holding me. He's trying to still detain me, ma'am. I've been an officer my whole life. You bitch, I'll spit on you. How you having feelings? I have no name. Relax. Okay, look. Figure it out. Ma'am, you don't want to talk to me. Don't worry. Talk to me, okay? Ma'am, can I speak to you? Can you come over here? Can we move around? You guys can both help me. Move me away because I'm going to smack the and I'll break out of this as quick as you ever think. I live too much. Listen, you're going to get more charges for no reason. You got no charges. You're going to get more charges. Everybody on the plane has no issue with us. Can you listen to me? Can I be let go of? I'm very uncomfortable. I can, can you let go? Oh, can I be in the space to walk? So that you guys can come like this. I can look at you. Okay. I'm not trying to play how can I play with my hands like this? I feel an attack. It's an attack. Look, that was perfectly fine. Can I speak? Nobody has said anything to anybody. So why am I doing this? Wait. The other place. I was not there, but that's what they're saying. No, I did not refuse. Even the airport, he, the people that were sitting next to us said, Why are they trying to get you off? You can go on and ask everyone. Yeah, but you have to understand whatever the airlines still did to get off. I am retired the army. I understood. I get every baggage free. I get loaded free. free. Why would I act in way? Please tell me. 
It is quite dumb that the woman thought she should get special treatment because she served in the army. However, it came as a shocker when the officers didn't acknowledge this, leading to her escalating the situation momentarily. After successfully restraining her, she was placed in the backseat of a patrol vehicle. But instead of being remorseful, her sense of entitlement only got worse. I am a woman. I understand we don't have a tampon. I am bleeding from my Well, then you have to figure something out. There's no point in letting me out without a tampon. How am I going to pee? How am I going to pee without a tampon? Do you have one? And my luggage that's not here, it's my carry-on. No, like my luggage that's checked. Not the luggage I have right here. You guys are so ghetto. I can't wait to see you. No, I need a tampon. I don't. You don't have a tampon now. Excuse me, sir. I don't feel comfortable getting out without a tampon because I know you guys. Excuse me, sir. Because if I get out without a tampon and they ask for a tampon, then you're going to say I'm antagonizing you and I'm going to get arrested again. So what's the point of asking for cops help? No, because when I ask for cops help the first time, you guys arrested. Okay, you want to get out and pee or not? I do, but I would rather pee right here and you guys clean it up at this point. We're not going to clean it up. Listen, it's not my problem. You guys will have to. You want to pee on yourself? It's not myself. I'm gonna pee and I'm gonna scoot over. That's so you mean. don't want to go use the bathroom. I asked you with a tampon, but you're we not. We don't have a tampon. tampon. We you do not have one. find one. I'm a woman. I cannot find one. I don't you have didn't one. Look, you did not look. Where am I gonna get one? Um, can you go to the front desk for the concierge? Well, there's no concierge. It's not a hotel. Well, then you better figure it out. You brought me here. I have a. T there's no way you don't have tampons. In the end, the woman received a lifetime ban from Frontier and was subsequently charged with felony battery on an officer and resisting an officer, three misdemeanor counts of assault on a police officer, and a misdemeanor trespassing charge. Where did you drive from? No? Oh, let's play the double. Yeah. Yeah. On February 11, 2023, 25-year-old Roxana and her 15-year-old accomplice stole some items from a Walmart store in Lake County, Florida. Unknown to them, they were being monitored through surveillance equipment and undercover agents due to their past habit of stealing from the store. And this time, they were caught red-handed. I need to talk to you real quick. I'm
As the 15-year-old exited the store with the stolen items, she was immediately apprehended and put in handcuffs by responding officers, and as expected, she tried to play dumb and entitled, claiming that she was underage, therefore shouldn't be treated that way. However, the officers could see right through her act, and it didn't take long before her older accomplice, Roxana, was located and arrested. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Let's go. What's up, Stay right here. Let know we got him. We have a camera. Well, we'll tell you everything that's happening. You're trying to steal from Walmart. Me? Yeah. You're you and your friend. Yeah, absolutely. You lost nothing with me. We must take them. You give them. Was she an accomplice to hiding everything? Um, they were working together. We'll take her too, because she's an accessory. Um, she's claiming that she's a minor. Shit, I don't know how true that is. Too bad, minors go to jail. <laughs> this is a whole RC though, for real. I saw them and I was like, dude, that's one of the whole RC. There's an email for her already. Stand up. Who is she? Who is she? Stand up. Who is she? I don't know. You guys were on video together. You know she They're gonna play that we don't know each other. I'm trying to help you out. Now calm down. So the second one in the long shirt helped conceal these items underneath everything. They were um, together the whole time. She was being a lookout. And then I couldn't really see because they were hiding by the clothes, but they were together. Not only did Roxana also act clueless, but the younger girl even went on to deny knowing her. However, the store had videos proving them wrong, and later the security officer explained how they carried out their plan. You know, it's funny, she did at the other store and she said, I don't know English, so then she ran off with the cart. That's why when I saw her today, I said, oh, okay, she can play the I don't speak English cart. She's good. Was that the new one? Who do you see me? At the other store. No one other the store. It's fine, I got a good picture. Okay, hey, let's not even waste our time trying to talk to them because they're going to play the I don't speak English card. That's fine, and I got a picture of her face right here. Okay, okay. So, so they've been doing this. Yeah. <clears throat> really sorry, my hand is hurt. A little That's bit it. like this. You're fine. It's hurting me. This really? is what happens when we steal. I think you were the Cops are uncomfortable. They said they didn't. They're supposed they're to be uncomfortable. Face money. Can you agree? I don't speak Romanian. You can curse me out all you want. It's nothing I've never heard before, so it's okay. Since we don't know who you guys are and you have no ID, you're gonna get booked into jail, and until we can identify you, you're gonna stay there. Yeah. Uh, oh, same shoes, same hair, same build. Where was that at? Forty-three sixty-five. Wherever that is. I got sixteen hundred dollars in that one. Oh, that's on the. You want me to CC you in it or forward it to you? Dude, people have been killing us in the formulas, bro. Literally, we have like them. We have like and two other groups that have been doing it. They've been stealing like crazy formulas, bro. Nuts. Did you roll the form? Is it on marketplace? Yeah. yeah, because it's hard to come by. Yeah, because they keep getting sold. Mm -hmm. How far out the store did they get? Um, she was in the store. They she separated. Was... Yeah, once she saw me stop her, the other one took off. <laughs> they were walking out together. No, they were. She was standing behind, like ten feet behind, so that way she could oh, like oh, walking out of the store, tap up behind her. She was, no, understand. she was like 10 feet behind that Excuse one, so me. that way she could keep an eye to see if anybody was watching her. You see something phone. with me? Perfect. Yeah, you guys were, you were a lookout. It must have been a shocker when they pulled up evidence against them, but that, of course, didn't stop them from acting clueless and uncooperative. I don't know how to spell it. I can't write it. Really, I don't know how to spell it. You don't know what your name is? I know what my name is. We'll say it. And you don't know how to spell it. What was your last name? Spell that for me. I don't know how to spell it. Oh, okay. I was also going to say, you check your email. She doesn't know how to spell it. She can write that. Um, just spelling it. Yeah. Uh, Let her write it out. 521, we got an email. Stand up. 4365. Stand up. It's the same one. So. Alright. What's your name? I can't spell it. No. You don't know how to spell either? 25 years old, 15 years old, we don't know how to spell our names? Stand up. Stand up. Do you have mom's phone number? I have a phone number. For mom? No, for mom. For who? Brother. Well, we need mom and dad. Your name. Which one's your Jane phone? Denver. This one? We need to call them. We need, a, we need a number for mom. Or somebody can't get a hold of mom. 
My brother. Okay, so how do I get to his phone number? Okay, get the, in the phones. I don't know how to use this phone. Uh, is that your brother? Yeah. How old is your brother? He's 17. Which one's your brother? Uh, that one. Which with one? What's M. his name? With the M. Yeah. You have your brother with kissy face? I don't think so. Good. Yes. Good try. Really? Yeah, okay. The camera that's not going to tell G that is, is my brother. She kisses her brother. Oh, well, she, that kiss looks on her brother. Yeah, I want to see. But you don't do that with, is it your sister? Okay. Yeah, from back it's just emojis. I can't put what emojis well, I want. You put emoji, kissy emojis with your brother and sister? Stand up. I mean, Why I is that me? <laughs> oh, no. Throughout this time, the duo continued with their pretentious behavior. However, lying about not knowing how to spell their names was not all they did, as it only got worse when the officers began to discuss what would happen to them. Jail. We'll call DCF to come get her from the jail once they run her fingerprints through the jail, because I'm sure she's been arrested before. And if she doesn't come back with anything, we'll have to call DCF and DCF will take custody of her until somebody can claim her. Or somebody can provide some well, type maybe, of Maybe DCF will take her. Or that. So she wants to play this on 15 year old game and I can't give you my mom's phone number. I'm going to give you my boyfriend's set. Yeah, you 17? We'll play the game. Um, I don't believe you don't have a number for your mom. What's the address for your mom? I can not drive to How do you get there? You drive. Where'd you pick her up from? Where did you pick her up from? Where did you drive from? Yeah. Uh, let's play the yeah. Soon after, they were escorted to the police cruiser and then transported to the Lake County Jail. I currently don't have information on what charges they faced, but subscribe and I'll be sure to let you know when I do. But if you thought shoplifters getting arrested ends here, you're wrong. I don't want a picture taken! Like, Take why? Ma'am. Ow! Ow! Look up. On June 2nd, 2023, two women were caught stealing at Target in Florida after the store's security saw them hiding items before paying. This was then reported to the police department, and upon arrival, the women had passed all points of sale before they were stopped and confronted by the officers. Right here. Hey, how are you doing, lady? for this? Um, some squads, that's, that's two items, three items. Hey, which bag was it? Just the bag right there? Yeah, the beige one. Uh, is there anything in that bag? We should know if we need merchandise in that bag? Yes or no? When asking? Is it your bag? Is it your bag? This your bag? Is this your bag right there? No. It's not whose bag is it? Okay. We're not playing this game. Yeah, we got we got Wait, that I, I, said, put, I, I said put your hands behind your foot. Hand comes on her. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? Yes. Put your hands behind your back now. Alright, put your hand behind your back. What? During the encounter, one of the women tried to pretend like she had no idea what was going on, but after searching their belongings, the officers found the stolen items and wasted no time in arresting her. Soon after, she was confronted about the stolen items and then escorted to the police cruiser, but her demeanor soon changed into something you wouldn't expect. How much is it? How much is it? 126 dollars. Hundred dollars? Hundred and twenty six dollars. What is oh. there? What, what, like, what was it? Oh my bad. Well, all the stuff you grabbed. It yeah, was I only paid. a toy. It was only a that's Target's easy. expensive. That's that's why it's right, hundred twenty six dollars. Can you see the receipt? Alright, right, come on. We're gonna go in the car. You can see it. Seriously, y'all are expensive. Yes. <laughs> Trust me. I, I walk in and I walk out with like three hundred dollars. I'm not gonna see a piece of paper. Like literally. Have a seat. You have a seat. You can call when you get when you get into jail, okay? Can I take a picture of the All right. 
a picture of what? Not the camera, you. You're not taking a picture of me. Yes, you can. No, the f you ain't. For what? Hey, bro, don't grab me. Man. No, you want to get another charge? You want another charge? But you don't have to let him take a picture of me. I'm asking you to step out. No, that's what the mugshot is for. Step out. I'm not. Step out. You want another charge? You're not going to let him take a picture of me without my permission. You want another charge? You're not going to let him take a picture of me without my permission. I'm already going to jail. What is he taking a picture of me for? A felony for what? I don't want him to take a picture of me. That's not legal for him to take a picture of me. Ma'am, it is. It is. Step out the vehicle. You're just going to make things worse for you. I don't want a picture taken. Take, take out the vehicle. I don't want a picture taken. Just take her. Right. I don't want a picture taken. Like, take why? Ma'am. Ow. Ah. Look up. So. Look up. After being transported to the station, the woman tested positive for marijuana and was later charged with possession and pettit theft. If you enjoyed this video, check out this next one, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.